Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single enemy, and every single everything in the Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a guy who would be the name of an Isaac Asimov story collection if he wrote about drops, Gary Butterfield. Hi. Hey, your, bud. your voice seems deeper today. Uh, I'm tired. I, Gary, it's the road dust. It's all yeah. the road dust. I'm also on a different headset talking to you. I'm talking to the oh. listeners through the same setup, but uh, I am talking to you through my gamer headset. Oh, oh. did, did they, they manify you like 20% on the gamer headset? Uh, just... Yeah, they sort of manify me. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I now have the sort of mana. Oh, no. It's not very good. Um. Did I tell you that my girlfriend, uh, whenever I bring you up now for like three times in a row, she's like, he is so much taller than he sounds. Like he sounds like a little guy and he's like this big guy. (laughs) (laughs) I guess I have a slightly high pitched voice at times. Uh, I'm I'm so used to people saying it about me because I I sit next to, you know, Basie Cole on so many things. And I've got my milky tenor sometimes. Cole Basie, uh, yeah. Yeah, Cole Basie. The, the, uh, the Cole Basie report. Um, and that's why, uh, uh, it was kind of refreshing to hear somebody say you sounded like the little guy. Yeah. You know, sadly, not a little guy, six foot four, 300 pounds, uh, all of it muscle, just pure muscle over here. Just yeah, you're like the kingpin. Man. Yeah. Just I, absolutely. It's often been remarked that I am like Wilson Fisk, the notorious Marvel yeah. crime Lord. Who's always beaten up daredevil. Yeah. William Fisk, the, uh, the will man. Yeah. Uh, Hey, you got that road dust. Gary, I have, into I have, you've been to Gary, California. I've learned some, I went to California. I've learned some important things about, uh, taking a road trip in an electric vehicle. Gary, is it like the Simpsons say I'm an electric car. I can't go very fast or very far. Uh, yes, you got it in <laughs> one. The Simpsons, the Simpsons done, done it again. Yeah. Take that Ed Bagley Jr. They love it. Uh, uh t- yeah. Tell me. It's a great way to go 300 miles at 55 miles an hour. It's okay. It's a very bad way to do anything further or faster than that. (laughs) Yeah. Gary, the amount of like, I wish I had a chart of the blood pressure of the people (laughs) on the I five corridor over the last week, trying to get around (laughs) my 55 mile an hour fucking Nissan Leaf. You you can see just like this red, dot moving down the highway slowly man <laughs> like there was a, we took a we took a california like freeway we took 99 for a minute and it's one lane and it's just yeah. like the haze of anger is still floating <laughs> over that like bucolic scene it's like the end of ghostbusters 2 like like some kind of you know rock formation is coming to life from all the negative emotions mm-hmm. uh, chasing you down the coast it's 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 like and, and then the other thing is the mileage. It's like being, it's like you're playing rad racer, except it's not very rad and you're not really racing. It sounds really awful. Uh, you know, I read your tweets about it and I'm hearing you now and it doesn't sound good. I had a, we had a good time. We went to Universal Studios. Uh, Olivia did some really interesting research on her mom who was active in the LGBTQ uh, activism community in San Francisco. Uh, we got mm-hmm. to see her sister and the new baby. Lots of cool stuff. I saw the, like, you know, polit- politics aside, uh, I got to see, you know, the Obama portraits. Uh, okay. They're touring them around, and those are amazing to see in person. You know, like the the one where, he, like, the official one where he's sitting in the leaf, in all the leaves. Mm-hmm. Hell of a thing mm-hmm. to see. You know. Yeah. Bad president on average, hell of a thing to see. Yeah. it, it And, and yeah, the, the curve of presidents is so fucking low. True. You know. True there. So it's, but, it's a, yeah. Uh, being able to go at most 150 miles on a charge and then learning in meteores that uh, the more you charge the car, the less good it charges. Oh, you had to keep you. You didn't it. You didn't learn the lesson from Deus Ex. It's like Gary, a razor. Me, what, you ruined it. Zero what? point. You know, the uh, I don't I, apparently that did not stick in your head as much as it did mine. Uh, Jaime Reyes uh, talking to Walton Walter Simons and. Uh, talking to him about how he's getting this like buzz feeling because he doesn't let him because he stays charged all the time, right? Like, Gary, oh, a battery I, loses at zero point. Like one of the the interesting things about our friendship is I think I like Deus Ex a lot. I've played yeah, all the way like through shit. Deus Ex. 
Like, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 um, yeah. I, I just, and you make up for it by watching uh, TV shows and movies. Yes. That I don't do. So you, hey, you, Gary, you take in new I... media. So Yeah. Like, uh, guess what movie I saw this week? Uh, Minions Rise of Gru. I, you got it in one, bud. Did I really? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Sometimes, Gary, when you have an electric car, you need to plug in for three hours. <laughs> and you got to plug in that Gru zone. Yeah. Uh, how them grew doing or them uh, minions doing, you know, this was my first, like I had a weird relationship with the minions this week. Cause I had not seen a minions film. And then I went to universal studios and that shit's them. all minions. Yeah. You met them when I went I to did. universal studios, there wasn't a current minions movie. So it wasn't minions mania. Yeah. You know, uh, you were there. It's kind of like a locust season or something like you went there when the minions were, you know, the pollen count was high. Yeah, I was at Universal Studios four days before Minion, or no, two days, two days before Minions: The Rise of Gru. Yeah, was uh hit theater like stormed theaters, stormed Minion fever is storming America, overtaking COVID, killing us all. People like them, those little idiots. You know uh, what? The movie's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I I find that to be true of a DreamWorks uh-huh. movie. Well, no, this is uh, Illumination. Illumination tends Illumi- to suck or- shit. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> I, I I just kind of lump every CG factory that isn't Pixar together. Well, I also I'll, uh, I'll say this: New Minions better than New Pixar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I also think that way about Pixar. Like, I come out of it, I'm like, that's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, and I saw, I, we saw Lightyear too as we were killing time while the car the 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 horrible tiny gray prison that I'm <laughs> paying too much money for uh, was shackling yeah. me to a movie theater. You had to go see a movie every day to drive that car on a road trip. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, that, that new up- uh, Toy Story movie looks fucking wretched. Uh, their advertising push is really, really hard, and it's it looks so bad. It's a C plus. Yeah, you know, like uh, Disney has just decided that the basic way they're going to get people to like things is they're just going to have Taika Waititi do a voice performance in it, and yeah. it sort of works. Yeah, he's he's a charming man. Yeah, uh, I like any it, movie that deals with like the horrors of losing everyone you've ever loved to uh, relativistic time dilation, which is the main theme of that movie. It's uh, kind of surprising. Well, you can see it. Uh, I feel like if you pay attention, that's in Toy Story 1 in the performance. Sure. That the, the toy the question, was based on that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, the toy. Ba- Gary. <laughs> so, <you're fucking laughs> so in 1995, Andy got wait, a toy. Wait, wait, hold, hold up one second. Okay, sure. Of course, we're covering eye drops. Continue. Yeah. In 1995, Andy got a toy. Okay. Yep. Okay. That toy was from his favorite movie. Yes. This is that movie. That's oh, no, the opening text crawl. They put that text yeah. crawl in the movie because people were oh. too confused <laughs> by their weird ass premise. Yeah. It's uh, it's real dumb. It's, it's like anything to not use Tim Allen. Any, um, any, and, and to use Chris Evans, who gives a completely indistinguishable voice performance. Yeah. Yeah. Turns out yeah. Chris Evans is not is is you know only so so if you can't see that big. You gotta get he's so handsome. God, he's the, the, uh, I could sh- the handsomeness I could shave of my a non-sinister blonde man. You know, it's They're hard so to be rare. Yeah, usually uh, are him and Chris Hemsworth really non-sinister, yeah. really blonde. Yeah, extremely blonde, extremely handsome, very uh, strong. Could hold me like a baby. Do you think Chris you Evans know? is actually strong? Yeah. Oh yeah. You don't think that's just I, movie magic? You don't think that's just the super soldier serum? No, I it, when I when I see like a jack holding up a car, I admire it. Like I I am so weak that strength like is very easy to impress upon me. Like, Gary, oh, that's a table. Gary, that's stable. Look at yeah, that. Gary, am Look I that, stronger than you? That's a great question. It's um, a really good question. It's it's, it's late question. in this non episode episode to to bring up that topic. But yeah, I yeah I, I um I bet you yeah, I bet okay. you're stronger than I am. Um, I do dumbbells and, and kind of just try to, you know, get some, a little bit of arm strength and everything. Sure. But I don't, uh, I don't exercise strength very often, you know? And you also, you, I, you've got, you know, 50 pounds on me and you're taller 50 pounds than I am. And like, an, and like an inch. Yeah. Yeah. You could, you could really, uh, lean your weight into me and fold me up like a little pretzel and then carry me like a baby. Gary, I could certainly sit on you. That's, I oh. think that's the ultimate question of, of strength is if I sat on you, I don't think you could get me off of you. And if you sat on me, I could probably get you off of me. If you, if I sat on you, you could certainly get me off. 
Absolutely, the, uh, Gary. Yeah, especially if you carried me like a little baby. Yeah. Um, this is one of my favorite tear ups in the game. Yeah, we have tons uh, of catching uh, up to do. We haven't talked to each other in two weeks yeah. in person. Uh, but we should talk about this real quick, and then we can yeah. get back to talking about whatever we want for the rest of the week. Yeah. Hey, we can talk about whatever we want forever, bud. We're friends. We can, <laughs> you know, Gary, the phone rings even when we're not recording the show. You know, we we got to license the non podcast. <laughs> phone still dials. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, this is you know, it's still a tear up. At the end of the day, it's still a tear up, but it's a cooler tear up than most tear up. I I love this. I, yeah, I think no, it I, is... I like it. I didn't mean to like soft shell, it, soft yeah. sell it, soft Not, shell it. I didn't mean to soft, soft shell, shell this crab. Yeah, it, it crab. has been a soft shelled crab. It was Marcel the soft shelled crab's adventure. Um, it uh, uh I like this more than almost every other tear up. It feels, speak. not only do I like it because of the flavor, but it feels more efficacious to me. Speak on that. Speak on that, Carrie. Well, uh, the way this works is instead of just giving you a tears speak up. Speak your truth. Speak your truth, Gary. I'm speaking my truth. Uh, Gary, I am valid. I, lo- I love your truth. Truth is beautiful. Okay. And I would really like you to speak on your truth. Okay, here it goes. Okay. And I'm not going to interrupt you anymore. I do. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like a Darth Vader thing, I guess. No, nope, that's just a breathing. The uh, okay. <laughs> he doesn't. God damn it, Star Wars. Yeah, no, uh, Darth Vader has the patent on have breathing. You, you seen the Darth Vader reference and the way that guy's living? <laughs> uh, it only it gives a huge tears up to just one of your eyes. Uh, an underutilized mechanic in this game is that Isaac fires out of both his eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, we talked about that with like items that give you an eye patch of some kind, or with Kane. Uh, this just ups your tiers by like a lot, 40%. So that's that's bigger than an average tier up, but just on one of your eyes, which makes them staggered, which seems like you're getting way, way more tiers than you're yeah, getting. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's a good feeling uh, upgrade. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that's really it. It just feels like you're getting, and you're hitting enemies with two tiers at once more often, which contributes to knockback. Um, yeah, and just like interesting. It is much more interesting and regular tears up. Yeah, it's Love I mean it. it's it is more than just like them taking a stat and like just cranking the number like 5 degrees to the right, right? Yep. And as a as a sicko, I like that it looks a lot like a uh, tropomide, tropicamide, which is a garbage item that has like basically the same icon. Yeah. Um yeah. So, I get them confused. I'm like, "Oh, it's that good one." Oh no, it's that range up. Fuck. Fuck. So, Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, 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 I went, while you were in California, I went and saw Cats, but it's late in the episode. Talk about that. Boy, Gary, that's what we call a tease, even though we release these episodes in chunks and the entire episode structure is now completely artificial. You'll have to wait a couple seconds for that. Yeah. If you like this show. Head on over to Patreon. Like, stop the episode and head yep. on over to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. Give us some money. Bump us. Bump Carry us. Carry the baby. Bump us. Um, and then uh, leave us a rating review on Apple Podcasts or Podcast Addict. Like this one left on Podcast Addict by Bo Tartep. Welcome to Everything to Albertine, the podcast where Gary Butterfield and Will Hughes talk about every single luncheon, every single rumor, every single memory in Marcel Proust's A la recherche du temps perdu. Hmm. I Gary, them's was yeah. fancy words. That was very fancy. I was thinking of luncheon. I wasn't thinking of Proust. I was thinking of lunchables. Yeah, and me too. Did, I was uh, hungry. Is really what I'm getting at. It's just like a spiral in that. But yeah, after God, this, I have some like, lunch. Nothing like taking a, making a lunchable. Like you know, taking like how would you mm-hmm. how would you do your lunchable, Gary? Very quickly before we end this episode. If I'm going to make a lunchable, like homemade. If you, oh no! If you're gonna go like buy a lunchable, oh, which our, which lunchable I, do I prefer? Yeah, it's absolutely chaos mode, but it's the uh, pepperoni pizza. You are. It's so f- gross. It it's a cold it. pita what, with like tomato juice fuck, on it. Man, what the fuck is wrong with you? I am yeah, mad it's, now. It's disgusting. I. That's the <laughs> worst answer you could have had. Yeah, it's, a, good it's so night. nasty. I yeah, I'm an idiot. What about you? Ham cheese. I I good nighted because you grossed me out too much. You f- I couldn't, I couldn't hear you because you were talking while I was talking. So yeah. you hoisted upon your own petard, ding dong. Oh, I hate that. Good night. Good night.
Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every item, trinket, character, boss, and character and boss in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is a, a man who's just pretending to be sorry, Will Hughes. Hey, Gary. Hey, Thanks for hey. touching base with me, bud. Hey. hey just wanted to say going? how sorry I was for calling you a mouth criminal at the end of the last episode. That was way out of line, and I hope that we can really put it past us and do some work today. I didn't. I didn't hear it. Uh, I wish I had because I like that phrase. It's it's a, Gary. I but I'm I apologize. I'm so sorry. No, oh, yeah. I'm so sorry for saying that to you, but I know how important it is to your productivity that you be apologized to, and I really want to address that. That can I get this in the form of a notes app? Uh Gary. Uh, tragically, I'm on Android, so no. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that explains a lot in terms yeah. of whether you apologize for things. <laughs> like, um, no wonder you're such a jerk. You can't apologize. You don't have a notes app. Exactly, Gary. It's it's a disability. Uh, yeah. To answer your previous question, uh, my ideal lunchable was the cheddar and ham ones. But then you uh, throw away most of the crackers and just like alternate most. ham and cheddar like four or five deep and make that into one sandwich you're like a quad stacker it, like it's like a, like kind of like a very tiny dagwood yeah <laughs> you know well, i don't if, like my if, wife if, very much yeah no <laughs> the, uh, what the fuck are you saying dagwood loves blondie oh oh i couldn't remember which one i was thinking of andy cap no I andy think. cap is the alcoholic who doesn't care for his wife he would yeah, probably get along with the uh, with the Lockhart's. Yeah, the the Lockhart is just like my wife. I can't believe it. And then Andy Cap is just like, yeah, show us some hand business. Like he's probably just really a bad influence. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Dagwood is completely aware that he is a four who is regularly fucking a nine. Yeah, it's an interfacial couple at yeah. best. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about that one, man. <laughs> no, it, it, well, I didn't make it up. It, it was a weird thing that was going around for a little while. Do you remember that? Uh, I tried. I I had a whole week off Twitter. It was pretty good, dude. That's yesterday. I was going to the zoo, and just before <laughs> I got got ready to go, <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> I logged on to Twitter. An amazing thing for a forty two year old man to say to me in conversation, <laughs> dude. I don't. I, I don't discriminate about what things are awesome. Uh, based no, on, I know the zoo kicks ass. No one's it, saying the zoo doesn't kick ass. It absolutely kicked tremendous amounts of ass. But right before I did it, there was like a, di I could like my Distar, Discord dar was going off. And I was like, man, Twitter's mm -hmm. going to be stupid today. And it was awesome. I went to the zoo instead. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I, I saw like two tweets talking about um, horny Japanese games and cultural relativism. And I was like, nope, uh, I'm going to go look at animals. And it was awesome. You can choose what you look at. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I would know? like to express how angry I am th right now. Okay. That you started to, you said you went to the zoo and then started a sentence with, I saw two. And instead of saying <laughs> cool animals, you said what you did say. I, I saw way more than two animals. What was the coolest animal you saw, Gary? Uh, baby orangutan pawning with its mother. Oh, fuck. That's good. It was, it was the best animals. zoo visit I've ever fucking done, dude. The okay. only, uh, only two animals were, didn't show up. Like, uh -huh. you know, how you go to the zoo and like, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, oh, no tigers. Uh, the, the polar bears dropped the ball, uh, but everything else was on display and like doing work. Yeah. It I saw a polar bear corpse this week. Oh, see, <laughs> yeah. that's, do, do you think they should make a dead zoo? That, where that's you can called just a museum, bud. Go, <laughs> say what? That's called a museum. Yeah, I guess that is a museum. I went to the Natural <laughs> History Museum in Los Angeles. It's, it is a dead animal zoo. They have yeah. a bird room with they have a, like a 200 room? birds in it, dude. Oh. And it ain't a big room. <laughs> they should rename that the dead zoo. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about with being outside and being in the cage and just the corpse just <laughs> there, like on the yeah. ground, you know, like recently dead zoo. Not okay, stopped. so not a no taxidermists allowed. As yeah, the, the murdered sign above zoo. your den says, we murdered a zoo. Yeah, like we fought a zoo. I recently read the plot synopsis of We Bought a Zoo. It sounds like a really touching uh, treatise on grief. Yeah, is yeah. They, did they buy the they bought the zoo in order to like come to terms with something? Yep. Hmm. Dead wife slash mom. People are always going to, coming to terms with things. Oh man, the guy the guy had to bury his wife, mom. 
that's, that's yeah, yeah, sad. yeah, it's yeah, <laughs> it's sad. Uh, I went and saw cats. Gary, let's can we do the item first because there's this item's oh. a little bit complicated, and we'll yes. I want to get through it. I want to <laughs> yeah. I want to eat my veggies. I. Yeah, th- I, I gotta say, don't don't set your expectations that high because uh, the weekend around cats was more interesting than the cats. Sure, uh, but we will we we have to do do do, do diligence. Yeah, that's um, where we are. We both diligently drink a drink a Mountain Dew while staring yes. off into the middle distance and thinking about our dads. Yes, <laughs> that's dad diligence. Uh, active contrition. Uh, angel room item. It tears up, so you yep. want it. Uh, gives you an eternal heart. It's great that it's an angel room item. So it's basically a health up. Like you're yeah, not going to get this thing. Go do other stuff. Yeah. Really. To be clear, that's because the eternal hearts are the ones that if you go down a floor with them, they give you an extra heart container. And then the angel rooms, uh, you're typically are going to be like the last thing you do on the floor. Unless you have like soul or something. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, the known effect, there's an unknown effect to this. I didn't realize uh, mm-hmm. to this, but it makes it so you can still take a, you can take a deal with the devil and not get locked out of angel rooms. You can take yeah. a deal with the devil. The way you phrase uh, that made me think of uh, a phrase I busted out a lot while talking to Olivia about our plans for the electric car over this week, which was okay. the Donald Rumsfeld known unknowns and unknown unknown shit. Yep. yep. <laughs> you know, Rumsfeld, not a good person. Pretty clear eyes on that, though. That is a real thing that he got made fun of for no reason. Yeah. It is cogent. Uh, the cool thing that I didn't know about uh, is it makes even if you take damage, you have an increased chance of your deal chance doesn't go down as bad. Yeah. So to explain, when you take yes. red heart damage uh, with a character who can take red heart damage in this, it reduces your chance of getting a devil deal offered to you after you beat the boss of the devil room or the angel room opening. Uh, that chance is weirdly variable. Like it starts mm-hmm. very high on a floor. If you take any damage, it drops by about 50%. If you take damn it, red heart damage while fighting the boss, it plummets to almost nothing. Yes. Uh, this yeah. mitigates both of those. It cuts both of those. Well, it cuts one of them in half and it cuts the other one like by way less. Like it is very useful. Yeah. Uh, Cause you know, that, that is the, uh, that is the meta game. That is a blanket over the entirety of Isaac is worrying about when you take damage. So you can increase your power. Yeah, because um, yeah. Uh, a devil devil deals are you know we haven't talked about this in a minute. Devil deals are tend to be very good for your DPS for and just an extra item on the floor for relatively little cost. Yes. Yep. Uh, so yeah, so this is better than I thought. I will you know prioritize this more. I think yeah. like not that I ever didn't get it, but like I might have rerolled it if my tier tiers are already doing pretty good because I yeah. primarily thought of it as a tier thing and I wanted something more flashy. It's, uh, it's, this is an investment. I, I'll say it, this is the the interesting part of this is still bad enough that they had to slap that tier effect. On yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, situational enough, you know, not razzle sure. dazzle enough. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, how was Skimble Shanks? So Skimble Shanks was phenomenal. Skimble Shanks. Phenomenal. Good Very good. That is good. It really he, is the uh, best song in that fucking show, right? It, it 100% it is. Uh, he, uh, it's the differences between the movie are very subtle, but many, uh-huh. uh, he kind of, for the first part of the skimble shanks song, he dances like he's a robot. And I think it's supposed to be because he's like very uh, fastidious about okay, keeping sure. everything on time. But I was like, is skimble shanks a fucking robot in this one? Yeah. Like there's a, and I was like, this is, this is shit's wild. And, uh, I, it's time to tell you, uh, I have to do the thing where the thought has to count for a birthday. Okay. So your birthday Yes. Recently, uh, several months ago. Several months ago, yeah. My plan was to get you a signed Skimble Shanks picture from the Skimble Shanks. Okay. Okay. I didn't get a chance to stay after and get anything signed. So I still got you something, uh, but it's not as exciting because over this weekend, I vomited in two different restaurants because I was Ooh. not feeling good. Which two? Uh, the sushi go round that's like downtown off of Burnside. Okay. Uh, and then uh, ha- Hop Brewing Works on Powell. Ugh, this just yep. sounds bad. Yep, it was not. They were not good, man. I just was not feeling okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. So I, I, it's okay. Took a COVID test. Wasn't COVID. Uh, you know, wasn't anything like that. I just like the heat and then a lot of stress lately. Mm-hmm. Like I've just, you know, been going through it. I think all those things combined. 
just really, really teamed up on me. So I could not wait afterwards to get skimble shanks. And I okay. apologize for that. That was the plan. I was not keeping food down and had to get home. Gary, so. uh, in, you know, within the, the context of the guppy show, I feel like I should lambast you for this, but I'm just glad yeah. that you, you, you took care of yourself. Honestly. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I still thought of your birthday. And again, the thought counts. I thought it yeah, would be a really you, cute gift. You did have the thought and the thought yeah. apparently does have to count. Yes. It, 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 well, I also got you a little something. Uh, okay. It's just something different. Uh, you did you got me a little tchotchke? Little tchotchke. Um, the musical Joni cats. Lo- Joni loves tchotchkes. The, the, uh, the musical cats, if you see it on the stage, uh-huh. is so much worse than the movie. <laughs> the, well, uh, yeah, it would have to be. It, in some way, like it has a reputation for being better because you're actually seeing dancing and stuff. And there was some impressive like dancing. And oh, things. sure. But you're also just staring at like a pretty what I think is like a pretty blank stage. Right. And there's no like it's a complicated set. It doesn't change, though. There are no location changes. They just come out and do song after song like the, the movie as incomprehensible as that movie is. It did so much work to turn it into a story. Sure. Uh, so yeah. So there's there's the story aspect because the the musical cats has no story whatsoever. There's no dialogue. It's just a series yeah. of cats explaining yeah. uh, what their deal is. They and they then, foreshadow McCavity so much in the musical. Yeah. And then he shows up and does that one song and then leaves. Uh, yeah. And that's they, it. they fail to give us the the through line on McCavity. Yeah. There, there's there's nothing that there's no reason to be scared of him. Nothing is motivated in it. And there's a song that they didn't have for the movie about uh gus the theater cat yes. telling everybody about a dog fight like these dogs and all the cats put on kfc buckets on their head to dress up as robot dogs to fight each other in this like racist song about peking like pekingese dogs like chinese dogs fighting american dogs so got that going for you the fuck are you talking about man gus tells a story unprompted yeah. Okay. About a dog fight that was like a race war between dogs. So where do we and get the, to the bucket hats? Oh wait, you meant the the cats? They, are they like Asian bucket hats or like? No, 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 no. The cats have to create costumes out of garbage. What do you to mean have like to? dogs to reenact this? What do you mean fight. have to? Who's making them? Uh, well, they, just the spirit of whimsy. The same okay. reason why they act out everything everyone's singing. Do know? they? They do a lot of that. There's a lot of the cats supporting each other in the musical versus the movie where they're kind of competing. And this one, they sing songs about each other. Like they're all basically voting for each other to win until old Gus gets left on earth and Grizabella gets to go up to the heavy side layer. Um, but <laughs> the, uh, using the proper terminology. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm so, so Gary, the musical. Your, your, uh, your lovely lady girlfriend is yes. a musical person kind of. Uh, oh Yes. She loves what did she theater. think of this production of Cats? She likes the, the, the musical Cats because she liked it as a kid. There was like a uh-huh. PBS taping of it. And she uh, she likes the dancing. She okay. likes musical theater. So she she was like, she was in that perfect spot where like she was enjoying it, but me making fun of it or being perplexed wasn't hurting her. Good, good. And that's that's where you want to be, right? Like as as a cynical, ironic, irony poison piece of shit. I just don't want to ruin anyone else's time. Yeah, you don't want to be me at any Avengers movie. No, no, no. no. Yeah, (laughs) why have I not gone and seen any movies with you? (laughs) (laughs) There's the you know uh, I don't want that. The uh, so the Uh, uh, I I could go see a movie with you. I just wouldn't go see a Marvel movie with you. I don't I don't think it'd be fun for either of us. Oh, I think we'd have a great time. I, I don't know. I think you'd make me feel stupid. <laughs> the uh, I don't make anybody purpose. feel stupid. I, I laugh at the thing. <laughs> like it's funny when the little boy says he's turning to dust so slow it makes him feel bad. It, it that yeah. I wonder what that feels like. Um, I, I, it don't feel so good. Is I have a. It's, I love that it, it doesn't kills hurt. me that he, he, gets he talks the about it like he just st- ate a bad fillet of fish. <laughs> he really did. Like, Mister Stock, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Mister Stock, I ate too many hush puppies. I love you know? that when erasing half the population of the universe, Thanos was like, I'm going to make the little boy go last. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a honestly King pimp move. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but anywho, so yeah, there's a song about racist dogs where the cats have to dress up. They, they dress up as dogs finding garbage they found in the junkyard, which include KFC buckets that they wear on their heads. How do, how's Buster Jones do? Uh, real bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's worse than without the, the plot. 
stuff. Uh, I, I yeah. feel like I couldn't handle... I, I need the visual spectacle of Cats in the movie in order to survive, I think. I don't it, think most it, of those songs are good enough to make it. They're not. Here's the thing about me going to see Cats is that I was really hyping it up. And I had a great mm-hmm. time because I was you know with my lovely girlfriend. Uh, even though I always had a bad time because I was vomiting <laughs> sure, yeah. day over the weekend. <laughs> but uh, it's a pretty boring play. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, it's <laughs> like I was... Just, pretty bored there's an intermission like uh, like this is long it skimble shanks like the or not skimble shanks at uh, uh magical mr mistopheles mm-hmm. the whole thing ends like oh that was the other difference i want to tell you about you know how in the movie uh mr mistopheles is like this little simpering like idiot yeah and stuff he's fucking king shit in the play yeah I'm, he's I, like I, a I, confident I sex god yeah, yeah. it's it's fucking weird like he's the second biggest dick on the cat stage after Rum Tum Tugger. Yeah, instead like, of what he is in the movie, which is a kind of feline cuck. Yeah, he's just kind of this little like I don't know. I don't, I, know, I don't know, know why cuck. they just dis- <laughs> <laughs> Miss Grizzabella, I don't feel so good. <laughs> Mr. Deuteronomy. I don't feel so good. Uh Gary, does your girlfriend like uh, Hamilton like Hamilton? What what was that? Does uh does your girlfriend like Hamilton? No. She's Good. perfect for me. Good. Like she, she just likes the, the musicals that I can tolerate. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gary, we're uh, going to go people... uh, see Hades town. Oh, uh, I, I've heard about that. I've never, I, I'm, I'm completely unfamiliar with it outside of having heard of it. Gary, if people enjoy the show, what should they do? Uh, go to patreoncom slash duck feed TV and, uh, throw us some monies and then also leave us a rating review on Apple podcasts or podcast addict. Like this one, uh, left by slack stalwart, yokai customs spiral. Quarter turn with landing, dog legged, escalator, fire escape, and that's a five star review. <laughs> yeah, good little bit of business there, Yokai yeah, Custom. Nice little bit of business. Uh, nice little bit bossa. of nice little biz of bitness. Biz of bum. Good night. Good night. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item, every single item, every, 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 by new advisor. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined, as always, by a uh, a guy who's, you know, say what you like about him, he's a fucking loyal, Gary Butterfield. I, uh, I, you know, I, I have a long memory. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily <laughs> translate to loyal. Well, I'm loyal to, to my grudges. That- I, I am I am loyal, but I do remember grudges. <laughs> I, I do remember people who have wronged me, but I also remember people who have righted me. So yeah. the uh you know, there are a lot of things that just kind of win my affection forever. It just flips the switch. But I'm like, this person is good. They're in the good pile to my heart. And then something can be in the bad pile to my heart. I feel like yeah. loyalty is one of those positive traits people fall back on when they can't ascribe better positive traits to themselves. It it is like uh something you give in a bad review. Yeah. Like you have to do a compliment sandwich and yeah. an employee jo- evaluation, <laughs> you know, it's, it's a step below attendance, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's very it's, loyal, it's, very loyal. Yeah. Loyal. Yeah. They won't yeah. care if we, you do bad shit. Me and uh live before we went to the zoo, we went to this brunch place and uh-huh. uh, I caught somebody doing that. Uh, Liv asked, like, she got biscuits with her her scramble, and she had to ask the lady what, whether the biscuits were good. And spoiler, the biscuits were horrible. They were, yeah. like, really bad biscuits. But the lady was like, oh, you, you know, we, we make them in-house, and they are, like, yeah. they're, like, this big. Uh, and she yeah, like, said things lady, that didn't talk about quality. <laughs> like, and it was, like, so, like, oh, she couldn't tell us the biscuits they're were They're brown. Yeah. They, oh, they're brown. They're made of flour. Uh, what else about biscuits? Sometimes they go with gravy. Uh, yeah, bad biscuit. Good brunch. Hey, Gary, no. happy uh, happy Fourth of July, I guess. Oh, dude. <laughs> I. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. Uh, nothing like the the holiday that celebrates a country increasingly spiraling into fascistic nonsense that also involves repeatedly triggering the woman I love's PTSD. Yeah.
Yeah, we're, 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 it's a, we've got one shooting at a 4th of July parade, but the day is still young. <laughs> yeah, we're recording at 1240 Pacific in yeah. the afternoon, so sorry so in advance if we t- left off some massacres. Yeah, still, there's still time on this fucking joke of a country. <laughs> like, it's Gary, it's okay. If, if there's another shooting, I've already heard that uh, Nancy Pelosi will organize a full cast performance of Hamilton. Oh man! Well, that I mean, six in one hand, half dozen the other. You know? Yeah. That, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, actually, I actually got to drive on Nancy Pelosi Drive uh, this weekend. Uh, it's one lane straight down the center, and it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> did, you, did you just pull that out of the dome? Yeah, I did. That's that's good. It Are felt, you lying? It felt good. It felt it felt like a Dennis Miller line. So you didn't know. I, I, I just that's I, what was impressive about it was the completeness of yeah. it. You know, like yeah, you know, it's just like it. It sounded like a joke, like a joke. I, that, it, you know, I was also surprised, Gary. I, as the person <laughs> who was there with you when the joke arrived, I was also surprised by that. <laughs> you got beamed into your head. Maybe Dennis Miller is uh <laughs> the uh, is getting yeah. you. He, he um, got me, Cha Cha. You gotcha, baby. Cha cha cha. Um, man, uh, I like this item, item a lot. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a really good item this week. So. Yeah, we got a good, interesting week. Cause, you know, uh, on the worst, this is really cool. Uh, you have to have the right run to make it work, but it's very yeah. cool. Yeah, this is member card. Yeah, a little gold card. Uh, yeah. Shop item. You buy it from the shop. When you get it, a little trap door opens in the shop to a second secret shop. Where the uh, prices are higher, but the selection is better. Yep. And they sell things that shops don't usually sell. Yeah. Like bone hearts or eternal hearts or runes, stuff like that. Yeah. And to be um, clear, this will be there in every shop for the rest of the game, including, I mean, like somewhat surprisingly, shops that had uh, greed or super greed in them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you don't lose a shop. Uh, what you need for this is money. Like you got to exactly. have a lot of money for this to be good because the things yeah. are expensive. Yeah, plus you already had to pay 7 or 15 or whatever to get the thing in the first place. Yes. But if you have one of those shop runs where you have like Steam sale and, you know, you're doing real well on money, uh, this can just be absolutely game breaking. Yeah. Because you're buying I- devil deal items for cash. Or secret room. Like yeah. devil or secret room. Like, uh, th- yeah, this pulls the, the pool for this uh, pulls from the secret room, the shop. The devil or angel rooms or the boss room. So that's a very mixed set of stuff. Like it could just be some like real basic stat ups. Yeah. And they cost can also between be 15 and 30 money. Yeah. And, and, but brimstone is worth 50 cents if you have it. You Abs- know, if, if you have it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so, so this, if, if you can make this work, I always take this. I always buy it if I can just banking on myself, getting money later, because Gary, if I do, it'll you- be super fun. That's the thing about you, Gary. You bet on you. And I always I try to. That. You're very loyal to yourself. I try to. I try to bet on myself. I, I, I don't want to do things that were like, well, if this works out, I will be sad. Yeah. You know? I think it's a good idea. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, besides the items, this can also have uh, cards, uh, black hearts, a bunch mm-hmm. of the special hearts uh, yeah. are in here, including rotten hearts, which are mostly terrible. But and uh, soul stones, which I it'll be fun when we get to the soul stone season. Oh yeah, uh, those are very the show, cool. There's a lot of cool those shit are very with those. Yeah, I love those. Um, and uh, that's another one of those things like runes where you can kind of game it by figuring out which ones you unlock. Yeah, you know, like you can only unlock the very powerful ones and be pretty incredible. Yeah. Um, so overall, this shit. is situational but great. Yep. Yeah, very good. Like it's it's uh, one of those things that it's it's an expansion of a basic idea of the game that really like fleshes out a whole new kind of space. I love it. Yeah, it's a uh, it's it's very very good. It reminds me of Jacob's Ladder yes. uh, that we talked about before. That's also one of my favorite items. Like just really cool stuff this week. God, repentance is good. Repentance, it's good. It's damn good. Uh, after this many episodes, we can finally say you should buy the Binding of Isaac. Yeah, pay if you've never. If you are listening to the show and you've never played it, just plunk down the 60 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it probably it's not 60 bucks. Like you can probably get this and repentance and there's probably an uh, all in one on, version. On at this point. console, the whole bundle I think is 60 bucks. Like, okay. That, that is a lot from, of value. Yeah. Repentance plus rebirth plus anti-birth plus repent. Or yeah. Yeah. All the, all um, the, all the major expansions together 
rounds up to 60, I think. I see. Yeah. I, 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 I've just, gotten well, just far get more the than 60 Spider Man game instead. Spider Man's real fun, dude. You, you you could just get that or you know Miles Morales is also fun and it's it's shorter and it's just more Spider-Man but sometimes I shorter like, I is good. like the boss fights I you know I can't remember them very well which probably speaks in your favor that fucking rhino fight down in like the parking garage uh it really bummed the shit out of me that that does suck I do remember that that does blow where you're fighting with uh the tinkerer yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, that sucks. It reminded me, we just did Hulk Ultimate Destruction for WAF, and it reminded me of a Hulk Ultimate Destruction boss fight. Like, it's yeah. dated in a weird way. Yeah. Get to, uh, <laughs> on the other hand, get to fight Devil Hulk. Devil Hulk's always fun. Yeah, love the Devil Hulk. I just re- finished reading Immortal Hulk. I finished that run finally. That's a great I've comic. heard really good shit about that. Yeah, it's it's very good. And it's only 50, it's like 50 issues, which is long, but it's finite. You know, yeah. it tells a complete story. Uh, it's very good. Yeah, I, I should... Uh... I should read some comic books, Gary. It's fun. Yeah. I, uh, last night I read, uh, Deadpool and Gambit just because I was high and I was like, Oh, this is being suggested <laughs> sure. to me. And it was legitimately funny. There's a great part where Deadpool is making fun of Gambit and he's like, duh, I'm the raging caging. And he's like, you don't say the G <laughs> I love the raging caging. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's real cute. Gary, we should absolutely uh, record an audiobook of that comic book with me as uh, Deadpool, the Merc with the mouth, and Gambit over here. Yeah, I'm that'd Deadpool. be real fun. Hey, I'm yeah. Deadpool. I'm the Merc with the mouth. I'm more interested in pussy, mon ami. I'm Gambit. Take a card and, and have sex with me. Done. You did it. You know, Gary, has anyone ever told you your Gambit's pretty good? Uh, a couple of people have, but I always yeah. like hearing it. Yeah. Uh, what if we took that as a stage show? Like, what if we set up, let's get Gambit and Deadpool costumes, go to Disney World, and start doing that bit in the middle of the thoroughfare? That would be very exciting uh, to get drafted. I've always wanted to see <laughs> to the get secret sniped Disney jail. by a Disney, yeah. st- like a literal <laughs> Disney stormtrooper. Gary, if like- I could get sniped by Goofy, I will have died happy. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I've got the shot. Yeah, the, 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 I like the idea of like a special heaven that you get into for getting killed, like by crossing things off an achievement list. Yeah. You know, so like the first person that gets sniped by Goofy gets to his own private room and like, you know, the first person who dies from eating too many, you know, I don't know, uh, peanut butter and, and ham sandwiches sure. gets a room and, you know, all these things like the achievement list for heaven. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Gary, real, real fast. Uh, oh, don't lose. Okay. Uh, before we, we, we end the episode, I do want to contemplate a psychographic that I encountered at Universal Studios. Please. Uh, the person who dresses extensively in Disney merch at Universal Studios. <laughs> <laughs> Does That's, that, yeah. do they feel iconoclastic, do you think? It, it does seem like you're trying to start a fight that no yeah. one else cares about. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, who's with me? You know, just nobody yeah that's great uh, i imagine there's probably just a lot of crossover between california theme park people absolutely that's probably absolutely. just their wardrobe which is also a psychographic um yeah or maybe they just really wish they were at disney uh a significantly better park in many regards <laughs> yeah yep yep but uh bigger Gary, you did you did recommend that I do the studio tour, and we did do the Universal Studios tour. Like we fit it in at the end, and it was uh, exceptional. So, isn't it great? It's so cool. Did they do the uh, the thing with the Psycho House with the perspective? Yeah, I think they, they, they always do Bait that. Yeah. Walks out. Yeah, yeah, loved it. Uh, I every every part of it was real cool, and it has rides in it. Kind of uh-huh. like it's not just a tour. Like it's it's really fun. Yeah, you get to see um, the Fast and the Furious uh, circa like six, I think, because they're very worried about uh, Shaw. No. Yeah, Hobbs, Shaw, 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 Hobbs, Hobbs Shaw. Uh, I uh, the thing with Universal Studios. So I I haven't been to California Disney. I've only been to Florida Disney. Uh huh. Is that like it's smaller and the you know it's I would buy that's not nearly as good. The highs are really high in it. It's just there's fewer things. Yes, you know. So like, I, I'm I'm someone who yeah. grew up on a, a Six Flags or a Kings Island, so I am a, I'm a coaster nerd. Yeah. Okay. Got and you. both of those parks are terrible. Both Disney California and uh, Universal Studios Hollywood are shit for roller. They're coasters. not coaster parks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was a coaster kid growing up on Six Flags in Illinois, and then now my stomach uh, makes me puke. Yeah. Now you've become a sort of um, a Brundle Gary. I'm I'm a lot like uh, Boomer 
from uh, Left for Dead. Okay, okay. That character. You said that like that was a character's name. <laughs> yeah, you know the that's the crew. We got a Boomer Spitter. That's it's all the friends. Sure, all the next yeah. wave characters. Phoebe. Yeah. Uh, if people like this show, so go to patreon.com slash duckfeed TV. Also, you know what you should do? What's Tune that, in Gary? Uh, on the ninth. Oh, fuck. Yes. 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 Yeah. Ninth. Uh, we're still details are all coming together, but we're doing a stream to raise abortion money because uh, of Nightmare Country. Uh, and Will will be involved. I will be involved in some way. Yeah. We, uh, the way it's going to work is me and Jeremy are going to do some monster train. Uh, and then Cole and Will are going to join for like our typical, like that combination chaos, but yeah. we don't know what we'll do yet. So Maybe we'll play three man among us. No, I don't, I don't want to do anything that's going to, cause then we won't focus on making jokes. Like if we do something that's like a game game, <laughs> we won't capture that energy. You know, we got, we got to do something that's passive enough that we can like sure. do casual emotional violence to each other. And you and I get surprised when Cole says something, mm-hmm. you know, that's what I got to do. It sounds like I need to be there. It sounds like we've already got. <laughs> I said, you and I, Yeah. Uh, the, uh, we got, you're my partner in being surprised by things that come out of Cole's mouth. Gary, that is true. I, I was listening to that, the, that vampire waff. Very good. Actually, I don't. I don't have a fault. I was. I was. I think I had something I wanted to criticize with it, but I don't remember. I'll let. Oh. You, I'll. I'll message you later. Oh, I'm sure you will. Yeah, uh, I guarantee you will. The uh, you know, the uh, very, I, I, Gary. That was a very good waff, and I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. I, I thought that was a good waff. Uh, the uh, I like that one. I uh, I'm getting a lot of criticism from ran by drive by douchebags lately. So your uh, cogent like yeah, uh, artist a sensible handcrafted. sentence. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it reads like a sentence, mm-hmm. which is real cool. You know, the, like, the, I can understand the intent what it to means. harm you emotionally is still there, but it's better punctuated. Yeah, it 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 at least is communication. Yeah. So you know, the, it, as opposed to the kind of weird drive bys I've been getting lately. So, uh, Gary, you want a review? I do. Uh, how about this one left on Podcast Attic by Big Mike ninety one, who's left several reviews before. Supercomputer doesn't seem super super to me. Nice. Nice. A reprise of a classic Gary non-joke. Yes, uh, but it is a joke. Mm. Good night. Good night. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every boss, 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 and boss in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is uh, a manticore for the Virgin set will use. Try again. Uh, a manticore yeah, for the cuck sense. Try again. Set? Try it. Different joke. Better joke. Better joke, please. I thought I, thought I had no. Better, better joke, please. No, <laughs> no. Gary, it's a comedy podcast. Better joke, please. No, it, it's a uh, your Gary, man to if I, if for I, the Virgin set. Gary, it says in the, the description that it's a comedy podcast. I need a joke in here. That you don't think that was mean and, and jokey? I, Gary, I'm yeah, not. You have a chimera saying... being a, a manticore for people who are too much of a pussy to get into a. You know, they have to get a chimera. Gary, you I know? don't want to litigate. I just want different. Well, it's nice to want things. Yeah. Like, it doesn't mean you get them, though. Gary, I don't want to get sued by iTunes for this not being a comedy podcast when he said it was a comedy podcast. New joke, please. Oh, tell me more about how an electric car works. That'll be a laugh riot. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny. It's all right. It's observational. It's Boss Sunday. There's more to life than Boss. Boss. Open road and a road that's hit. Brand new boss. Around the boss. <laughs> boss. Any day you listen to it. Yeah, it's, it's boss whenever the fuck you want it to be. Yeah, you get to choose what day you listen to it. It's yeah, America. Become the ruling body. Yeah, Fourth of July. That's the kind of freedoms that our founding fathers died for. Yeah. Uh, the other thing, Gary, is we were. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to have to go tell Olivia I said this. And I okay. love her very much. But there, you could argue 
that planning a week long road trip in the hottest week of summer mm. that drives you through a desert for a thousand miles uh, in a car that can't run the air conditioner to get any mileage might have had some flaws in it. You couldn't run the air conditioner? No, it cuts like 20 miles off of every charge. Oh my gosh. Uh, that fucking and when sucks, you, And when you were scrabbling for every single mile you can get, like, it was, it wasn't great. Yeah. That's a, uh, I would have, I would have struggled with that. It was warm. Yeah. Too warm. It was already too warm. I was just like laying around puking and it was too warm. Yeah. yeah and everybody knows like puking is just your body trying to get rid of excess heat. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was hot puke except for when I just drank a bunch of cold water to try not to. And then it was cold. Yeah. So, but for the you most know, you part, you're definitely vomit? losing body heat from puking. You ever have a cold vomit? You ever drink like a bunch of ice water and then vomit? Man, I don't believe I have. It's real weird. Like cold, it, it's cold. It comes <laughs> out of you cold. It's cold. Brew. Yeah, it's it is. It's been brewed cold. Uh, it's very surprising. Gary, I don't want to put you on the spot here, but do do you mm-hmm. want to describe these vomits? Well, one of them I just said is almost entirely ice water. Okay, but th- so. Are we getting much, like, is this like, oh, I need to get a little something up? Or is this like the uncontrollable, like the the thing where you're vomiting so hard that you can feel like your mouth, like the skin around your mouth cracking because your body is trying so hard to expel something? No, it, it generally went away after I did it. But the, okay. the time with the ice water, I didn't have anything in my stomach, really. I just had ice water yeah. in my stomach. So I, I don't know what it was. I'm just, I'm, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out like what kind of vomit. It was because do you know what I'm talking about with like the lips thing? Yeah. Where, like you're vomiting so hard that like the pressure of it. Yeah. Uh, the dry like, heave or it's, even if it's not dry, but I know what you're talking about. Like it starts feeling like your body's turning inside out. Yeah. Like inside yeah. out boy who went over the swing set. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the story they told people, but really yeah. it was a vomiting relating thing. They really, so. they never addressed infections with inside out boy. It'd be all infections. It's like when Carl turns into eyeballs and aqua teen. It's like, Gary. It's a that's lot a scary like thing. that. I love that episode. That's, that's great. Uh, it's very scary. You know, I don't want to be a big mucous membrane, like entirely. Gary, you know? do you think I look a little bit like Tim Heidecker? Let me pull up a picture of you. Yeah, do it. Uh, <laughs> the uh... Sometimes when my hair is a particular way, I'm like, oh, I look a little bit like Tim Heidecker. I could kind of see a little bit. Like if and Kirby... you, don't, you don't look unlike uh, Eric Wareheim. I, I can, yeah, I can look more like him sometimes. We we could probably become a underground comedy duo 10 years ago. Absolutely. I mean, you're, you're handsomer than Eric Wareheim and I'm uglier than Tim Heidecker and that'll be a problem. That will be a problem, but I can work on that. Yeah. You know, I can, I can, you know, I know so many people, like ladies with a wide on for Eric Wareheim. Like you think he's very hot. Huh? Uh, yeah. It's surprising. I, I know a lot more uh, people who, who, who get Dame Judy drenched for, Eric Wareheim. Then for Tim? Then yeah. Yeah. I've never heard anyone say Tim was hot. It, do you and, think and, that's because of the characters they're portraying? I do generally I feel like Tim it. goes more extreme. I think that's probably part of it. Yeah. And Eric's uh like almost seven feet tall. Eric's oh, okay. ridiculously there huge, there and that go. does it for a lot of ladies. Like he's he's taller than both of us. Not put together. So Gary, you're saying that when we uh pretend to be Tim and Eric, uh, while trolling for trim on the underground yep. comedy circuit, it might work out better for you than me. Uh, I guarantee it. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, That's a Gary I, Butterfield I guarantee. That is the Gary Butterfield guarantee. You know, I won't do that because guarantee. I'm happily relationship. Yeah, we're guarantee. Both, we're both in yeah. very happy relationships and we enjoy those relationships. It's just, if we have, like, we might have to do it for the premise of the bit. Yeah. I, I am committed to the bit. Like Gary, uh, you're in a committed, loving relationship, but is Gambit? Yep. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> yes, uh, is Age of Apocalypse Gambit? Mm-hmm. Uh, is Days I'm of Dark Future Beast. Past? Yeah, <laughs> the, I'm hanging out um, with the Sugar Man. That's how you get to make the Dark Beast with two backs. Gary, good the, joke. Uh, thank you. See, Gary, I made up I'm going to edit that. that so that's uh, the with joke me as always the- is the Dark Beast with two backs, Will Hughes. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Took a little bit, but we got it. Sometimes <laughs> there's a little bit of a ramp up because yeah, there's, your car can't accelerate faster than about five miles an hour per minute. <laughs> it's like speed. Um, Gary, 
Did you know that if you overheat your battery in an electric car, it puts a little turtle icon up, and then you don't go more than 40 miles an hour up the mountains? I love how much your life has turned into a reverse commercial for electric cars. <laughs> I really, like, here, Here's the thing. <laughs> City driving, this is the best car I've ever owned. Okay. If you need to go less than 150 miles in like a day, it's an amazing mm-hmm. car. You don't have to go to the gas station. Uh, you can run the AC. It's wonderful. Uh, it's just not a great road trip car. Yeah. You just don't take it out of state. No. Just don't, like, I, I can't, I, many times over this week I've said, what if we'd just gone to Eastern Oregon? That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, or like in the, I mean, I guess live and learn, right? The future, you rent a car for this kind of thing. Yeah. We actually did rent a car. Uh, we, we ended up staying in Bakersfield, which, uh, which is a hundred miles North of LA. Mm-hmm. Uh, and driving down to LA both days, we went to the city and we rented a Prius and God, yeah, yeah. The, the it's, fuel, uh, it, this is an actual commercial for the Prius. That thing gets 500 miles for a tank of gas. It's insane. The uh, what about what if a world where everybody you know if you have to have a car in town, everybody has a little electric car, mm. and then uh, out of town cars are just like a tool library thing, or like you just go yeah, like a shoe puff from Final Fantasy X, just public transit, but it's a big kind of dinosaur thing, and it goes. Uh, can you puff. re? Can you uh, reframe that in Morrowind terms? Uh, Gary, uh, what if it was like uh, Caius Capernus, secret <laughs> agent of the blades, and you ride on his back? Thank you. Don't fucking at me. I know that's not his name. I can't remember his name. I haven't played Morrowind in 15 years. I li- The spirit of that joke still really got me, though. Yeah. So thank you. Um, I love setting somebody up for something that's so stupid and specific, and then them yeah. one-upping and making it more stupid and specific. Uh, Gary, stop uh, describing your brand and start describing yeah. Chimera. The uh, the 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 don't blink school of comedy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chimera. So this is uh, only in the corpse, which is the alternate womb on the uh, the new alt path. Yes, in repentance. Uh, and it is a gross like parody of what mom would be if she were made up of other bosses stapled together. Yeah, it kind of looks like uh, Isaac's mom if her torso was the cage, which is a torso. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Her like neck was Gertie, and then her face was Monstro. Yeah, they made a little parody. Uh, it's real gross. It, um, it, 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 it begs the question, which is not what that uh, expression actually means, but it begs the question of like, who made this? Yeah. Gary, who yeah, did I the surgery about, on the cage? There would be lore if uh, if this were a different kind of game about this thing. God, what did, what did you say? I missed your, your question. Oh, uh, who did the surgery on the cage? This, the cage has surgery scars. Who did the cage? Probably self-surgery. Or Dr. Giggles. Probably Dr. Giggles. For a second, yeah. I was like, someone should do a lore podcast about this game. And then I remembered us. <laughs> oh, yeah. we. Somebody should get off their ass. It's us. It's us. Fuck. We're doing it. We're getting there. Fuck. Uh, the uh, We just got to get a couple years to ramp up. It's all just um, a story a little kid is telling himself. Unless the kid is dead, it's still unclear. Ed, Edmund said some stuff. Yeah, it uh, it depends on what you think. And there are a lot of interesting swerves on the way there. Uh, because this is only a corpse <laughs> Gary, boss. We got it. We we're gonna kidnap Vadi and just have you okay. do the narration for all the videos. And just be like, there's some <laughs> swerves, and it's real interesting. Prepare yeah, there's some guys. Cry. It works out in the end, but the yeah. uh, the specifics aren't as important. But this is the theme. Cool for you, That's but it. I'm different, bro. Yep. Yeah, uh, this uh, I haven't fought this thing that many times. Me either. Like there. you only fight, like you know, you only fight it if you're doing the very specific, quite hard path, and you don't end up fighting like Reap Creep or something, or not Reap Creep, uh, the guy with the chains, you yeah. know, or the guy that sucks you. And there's other bosses for this for the corpse. Yeah, um, the corpse very fleshed out. It's also there's the whole thing where because it's the womb, there's only one floor of regular bosses mm-hmm. before you get to the set final boss. Yep. Uh, I have so fought this guy. Basically he chases you around the room uh while yep. uh leaving creep behind him. And then he does and he shoots at you and does some explosions and then when you do enough damage he breaks apart into two parts. Yeah. Uh and these parts also mostly chase you around but in slightly different patterns. So like yeah. do little dashes like dingle uh or spit out uh brimstone. They do like a pukey green brimstone. Yeah, the, that you. that move is interesting because it only fires down and then it slams them up into the back wall. So it's it's one of those vertical denial mm-hmm. moves. Like the difficulty yeah, but... in this in this part is that you have two things coming for you. They don't have like enormous health, 
at no, that point. No, no, but... I, yeah, I, I find that I tend to do pretty well against this boss uh, and don't end up seeing tons of its moves because it's pretty squishy. It's also one of those, so. it's just that thing where if you're in the corpse, like we've talked a lot of shit about damage reduction, uh, mm-hmm. the mechanic in this game, but when you're rolling in this game, sometimes bosses do not get a chance to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, which I think would be more of an issue if it wasn't like a wave-based game where you're supposed to fight these bosses yeah. over and over. You know, I like that I'm able to, to you know, beat the crap out of them, uh, you know, pretty mm-hmm. frequently. But it, it's a, and I don't like damage reduction as a solution for that. But um, I agree. Gary, do you have yeah. any other questions about my vacation? Um, did you do the Waterworld stunt show? I didn't do the Waterworld stunt show. It's, oh. it's kind of tucked. It's tucked near the, the entrance to the park. So mm-hmm. we never went back over there. Uh, uh, I did see it, a little bit of where they were constructing Nintendo Land. Yeah, that's very exciting. It's going to be so um, fucking small still, though. I know, but I, it's still like, I don't know. They do already I, I have gotta, the Nintendo I, gift shop up and there's some good shit in there. Like they have like the Mario Kart decals and stuff. Ooh. Yeah. I was pretty jazzed by Little Springsfield, even though it's little. Little like, Springfield I still is really, really like cool. It. Yeah. A lot of very like specific details and stuff in the in the set, you know. Yeah, like the Phine- the ice cream shop is the Phineas Q Butterfats. Mm-hmm. They were like a one off joke, mm-hmm. two off joke. Yeah. I had a crusty burger. It was fine. It's a fast food burger. Uh yeah, it was fun. Like I, I like that kind of stuff. I can handle them being in little little doses. Little, little dosey dose. Dose? Uh the what the Waterworld Sun Show is gonna go away. Because this I might know. shock you, Waterworld is losing its cultural cachet. But but the smokers, Gary and the Deacon. What of the Deacon? Yeah. Gary, wither the Deacon. With it, I know. I know. It's last chance wither. to see. It's like it's like an endangered species. The water. Yeah, it's it's show. like a, a Douglas Adams conservation book. Last, Last chance, chance to, see. to see. Last chance to see the Waterworld stunt show. I think that's what that book was about. Uh, yeah, Douglas Adams was a huge advocate for, w for, the, World. for the fucking dry land. Yeah, he he loved it, dude. Uh, and and uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide, a Hitchhiker, the Postman, and of course the you movie know? of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, directed by the guy who makes those Sing movies now. Yeah, which there is no singing in Waterworld, full circle. The I think, uh, I think there's probably a little bit of singing in Waterworld somewhere. On so the somebody probably else. like sinister. Like if it came out now, there'd be a what do you do with a drunken sailor? Like sad yeah, or piano just cover. Dennis Hopper doing like some spoken word or something. Yeah, like what doing some like do Henry Rollins shit with a drunken sailor. Yeah. yeah, Gary, why aren't we remake? Why aren't we remaking Waterworld, bud? You and me. Huh? Because we got to do our Gambit and Deadpool oh Disney God. sniped. Gary, what if sometimes we did a we did a little swap a Rooney and I'm Gambit and you're Deadpool? I don't think I could be a Merc with a mouth. Give me, I mean, give me. A, I'm just doing my anime kid hero voice for him. Oh, I've yeah. got to fight you. I'm Deadpool, yeah. Jimmy Chongas. Yeah, I guess I, I I guess if I had to do, uh, it's Deadpool. a lot easier if you don't try to do a good a good one. All right, let me let me give it a shot here real quick. Yeah. I'm the mook with the mouth, see? Monami. How was that? I have notes. Okay. <laughs> you know what I was thinking about? That Gary, made I, have, me think, I, have, uh, I have notes. Can I, can I give, me, oh, give me? Yeah, I suppose if you actually want to do the notes. Yeah, uh, no notes. Oh, <laughs> thank you, buddy. I have a, uh, so something that I consider to be one of our, like if you can think of a cultural artifact that binds two people as friends. Sure. yeah. Some, something I think of that is a me and you thing, even though we share it with many other people, is the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog Larry King interview. Absolutely, yeah. Like that. That's a, that's a. I consider that to be in our and an underrated. I show that to live. An underrated part about that, because obviously the nobody cares about me. Uh huh. But an underrated part is the hedgehogs are interesting. They're an interesting animal. Yep. And then and then <laughs> that, Schwartz doing the immediate I gotta hear more about this. I got it, yeah. Like this is goal. Like he immediately knows that's real good. But just that occurring to Larry King is very good. Uh, interesting. Gary, this is devolving the show into just YouTube recommendations, but have you watched uh the episode of like the late late show or whatever where Adam Pally uh has been asked to host it in like a blizzard and he brought Ben oh, Schwartz on yeah. to be his sidekick? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've seen like a like a super cut of that. Yeah, it's just uh, that energy, except Schwartz is a little more hostile because he's having so much fun watching Pally eat shit. Yeah, that that's really good. 
Uh, man, what happened to Adam Pally? He was in the guy was Sonic movies. For a while. Well, who was he in Sonic? James Marsden? No, he was he was the he was deputy dumbass in both Sonic movies. Ah, uh, deputy oh, Wade, right. deputy Wade. I can <laughs> Gary. I just pulled Adam Pally's character name from both Sonic movies. <laughs> you still got it, baby. Baby, I still got it. You got it. You still got it. Wait, let me see if I can do uh, a gambit. Yeah. Mon cher. Oh, a mon Mona cher. me. Why don't you? Mon- why don't you come? Catch a card between the eyes, mon ami. <laughs> Pick a card. Any card. Pick a card. Any what? card. It's me, Remy LeBeau. The ama- Does Gambit ever get like an adjective like the Amazing Spider-Man? I think he's just Gambit. Really? Claremont at some point didn't shove like a... The, or is he yeah. just the Raging Cajun? Yeah, well, he is the Raging Cajun. He's got like the knuckle head. You know? What? moniker well like how wolverine is oh okay. the, the the claremontism is like old knuckle head okay yeah the um which is horror like so fucking dorky for this mass murder uh patreon.com slash duck tv yeah gary it's i know we're at the end of the shows but i haven't i, I missed you so i'm just enjoying I mean, the conversation I know. me too me too it's sad because i i want to just hang out and talk and make this like an ultra long episode but i got a pack because i'm moving in two weeks yeah gary's got a pack and i gotta I'm play gonna control go, i'm gonna probably gonna go gotta, hey control's okay it you know what uh remedy make a game that's more than adequate mechanically challenge i, I uh, they I think can't the, do it i think the it, shooting it, is solid it's it's the best they've done it's the encounter design is just so bad the like the story's really good. interesting. The powers are really cool. It just every time you're in a hallway, let's just warp in some identical dudes. Yeah, you're not. You wrong. know, it's it's the powers are fun to use. It's just like it it's reaching its limit of how long that can be interesting. I guess. Yeah, you're. Uh, I, I I'm here for the other it. stuff. Yeah. No, the the other stuff, the fucking the fucking kids show and everything. Yeah, very cool. Like they're best uh, I'm in still, class I'm, at all. No spoilers. Show. I'm still, you know. Oh, for early. sure, yeah. I never actually finished yeah. the first, like the original, and I didn't play the DLCs. Some point, I'll go back to them, but yeah, it just it becomes fatiguing to play, which I'll is kind of a stream it, thing. Actually, that'd be a good stream game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of reading, uh, fun, fun notes. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, by the way, yeah, I, I stream. I stream at uh, twitch.tv slash plumberduck. Yeah, check it out. Uh, the the people who watch it will be eagerly awaiting your return. Now that you're oh, I, I did a fuser stream last night to kind of oh. say I'm back, Shake off baby. the dust. Yep. Time to fuse. Uh, uh, if, and if people liked my voice this week, I feel like I've, I've lost that. The I, I'm back up into my uh, just a little guy timbre at this point. Oh, it's so okay. I'll try, to, yeah. I'll try to get sad again. Yeah. Just nice and deep. Just nice and Well, hey there, everybody. It's, uh, Hello. it's me. It's the road dog. That's my new nickname. I'm the road dog. Hey. Hey, road dog. Here's your tips for uh, traveling long distance in an electric vehicle. You gotta yeah, tell you me gotta, more. Sometimes you gotta do that trickle charge. You know, sometimes yeah. you gotta plug into that J one seven seven two and just let just the energy the flow. Baby. Right. Just uh, just let it trickle down charge. into that battery as the battery oh. slowly overheats in the summer heat. Yeah, and you, uh, you start to realize you're trapped right in now. Eureka. California, yeah, a town that seems to be entirely that. populated by tweakers. Well, just at that point, you're really into like a taxonomy of tweakers. Like you have like your yeah. gentle tweakers and like your older kind of like RV tweakers. Veterans. Yeah. And like, I'm not saying anything bad about people who are down on the, living on the down and out. It's just that there did seem to be well, a lot of tweaker energy in that town. Sometimes you got to tweak, you know, sometimes you got to tweak. That's, that's my, that's our takeaway is uh, hey, man, take man. care of you and just do a little tweaking today. Hey, just go man, tweak. I'm going to tweak. Uh, well, do you have a horror review you can read? Well, uh, hey, Gary, if people enjoy the show, what should they do? I just asked you, re- you to read a review, but I oh, managed yeah, no, to get Gary, sublingual. <laughs> ling- yeah, yeah, no. Language uh, wasn't Patreon. happening. Uh, how about this one? Uh, left on Podcast Addict by Unprofessional P. Jabrader and Cameron and Jabradermy Greer host the world's leading podcast on Dead Space. A thoroughly entertaining listen. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Gary, it's so good to be back in the old podcasting saddle. Uh, a thing it's we a, do need to commission back. a leather maker to create for us. Welcome back. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Cole would have loved that. He, he, yeah, I, I will text him. 
<laughs> Good. Night. All right. Good night.